So it was a good week for Microsoft at E3 with practically everybody walking away from the news conference and loving the format, praising it, saying how much better it was than Sony and how they decided to roll this year. And then Microsoft got more good news today with the announcement that now for the second year in a row, the Microsoft E3 conference was the highest watched stream on Twitch. And this year, it actually became the highest watched stream ever. So a lot of good numbers, really good optics for Microsoft. Will that positive coverage mean more sales? Well, we'll have to wait to find out. But there was one kind of strange phenomenon that happened during this week. And on stage where the focus is normally on consoles, this year, Microsoft actually revealed more exclusives on other platforms than they did for their own consoles, which of course is a complete reversal of what we normally see. Every game that Microsoft revealed on stage for Xbox is going to be coming to PC, but not all games on stage are coming to console. And so Microsoft's explanation for this, uh, why they decided to create an exclusive that'll be coming to PC instead of console is, I would say, a bit odd. Here's the Gears director explaining Gears tactics and why it's coming to PC. It's been something that's been going on in the franchise sort of bubbling underneath the surface for a long time. This yeah. idea, even when I was back at Epic, we had ideas around this idea of this sort of top-down, isometric. Because what's really interesting when you see Gears Tactics, it's actually like a concentrated essence of Gears. Like the things you right. think like cover and tactics and squad dynamics, like it's actually more Gears than Gears in a way, you know what I mean? And, and yeah. so I'm so happy we're able to do that now. And that was one of the things, you know, when, as, a, as a creator, as a world builder, you go, what are the things that are stopping fans from getting into that world? And, and, and so you look at what are the barriers we can take away? And the obvious one is just platform. Like, mm -hmm. okay, if everything's on console, then only certain people are gonna get to play it, which is great. We love our console audience, we love our console game. But it's like, we wanna broaden that. And how can we make it more approachable to more people? And so we go to mobile with pop and we go to PC with tactics. And it's really just trying to be inclusive and trying to just make it, you know, open it up to the rest of the world. So, I mean, Phil is constantly pushing this whole dialogue of, I want you to play your games anywhere you go on any system, except we're going to make games that aren't on your system. Like, it's, it's just kind of crazy. And then here you've got the creative director saying that we want to be more inclusive. We want to reach more people. We want to expand the horizons. So that actually means keeping the game off console and then putting it on PC and putting up a barrier for your console fans because as of right now, Tactics is not coming to console. It's exclusive to the PC. And so Gears Tactics is a XCOM-like strategy game. Uh, so it coming to the PC, of course, makes perfect sense. But XCOM is also on console. So don't try to claim that this couldn't show up on console. Plenty of RTS games have made their way to console, including recently Halo Wars 2. And back in the day, this channel started on Tom Clancy's End War, which was being played on console. So why wouldn't they bring this game to console? Uh, there's another also big game that's coming from Microsoft. It's one of the biggest RTS games in history, which is A New Age of Empires. That game also currently announced exclusive to the PC and not going to be coming to console. Now, you can argue that these games will play better with mouse and keyboard, despite what I just said about the games showing up on console previously. That's a fair argument. But there are already some games that use mouse and keyboard on console. And Microsoft has been saying all the way up until just a few days ago that mouse and keyboard support is still coming to Xbox. So what's the hold up? And why continue to give perks to everybody who didn't spend extra money to invest in your dedicated gaming machine? PC players now getting all the Xbox games that launch, can use Game Pass, can use all the features of Xbox Live without having to pay extra for them, and now they're going to be getting AAA games that won't be coming to the console, they say. It's just all pretty strange to me. Now, I know some console gamers 
curl up in a fetal position anytime somebody talks about mouse and keyboard support coming to consoles. Again, nobody's claiming that you have to open it up so that people are playing against each other with different inputs. So just stop your straw man argument there because nobody's saying that you have to play against these people. There's already games where you can siphon off and opt out of playing against people on certain platforms. Microsoft has made games in the past that require to connect. So they could even go that route and say this particular game, you know, warning on the label, it requires or plays best with a mouse and keyboard. But either way, there's no reason why these games shouldn't be coming to console, in my opinion. Now, I know that there are loyalists out there, and I'm talking about people on both sides of the aisle because there's a big issue with both major platforms. Loyalists can't handle criticizing anything that their idol company decides to do, so they'll probably downplay the games, say, oh, these are just minor, they would suck anyway, I don't want those games. Of course, though, if they were announced that they were coming to the console, then it would be, oh my god, Phil just made the most amazing announcement ever, and PS4 fans are angry. But the fact is, the games look decent, and these are major titles that are coming. You can try to downplay Gears Tactics if you want, but you can't downplay Age of Empires. That's going to be a huge game. So everyone should want more games on their system, and if you care about the platform, I think you should be asking the Xbox gods why they have forsaken you when it comes to these newer RTS exclusives for the PC. Post your thoughts down below. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.